Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Listen, I want to ask you a question. But first, I want to paint a scenario. You're walking down the street. You hear the music in the background. That's mood music. Imagine it's a beautiful moonlit night. And it's crystal clear, just a few cotton ball clouds in the sky. Beautiful. And it's nice and quiet and peaceful, and you hear the crickets in the background. And as you walk, you see something sparkling on the on the ground. Oh my, so you got to check out what it is. And you just have to satisfy your curiosity, right? So you bend down, you scoop down, you pick it up, and lo and behold, it's a beautiful, dazzling ring loaded with crystal clear brilliant diamonds. You know this thing looks like a, it. this must be fake. There's no way it can be real. So what do you do? The next day you make a beeline to the jeweler because you want the jeweler to give you an estimate. And you're just looking and you're like, oh, it's so beautiful. Now, of course, you're honorable, so you call and see if anybody has reported losing the ring. Nobody says anything. There go. Hello, you got a blessing. So now you're looking at this ring and the, the jeweler says, oh, this ring is worth $50,000, you know, like what? You know, retail or $100,000, whatever. And you're all excited and you're like, oh, I cherry. And now you love the way the ring looks, but you love the fact that you can cash it in. So you hang on to it for a little while and you just enjoy looking at it. And then one day, one day, you misplace it. I mean, you don't remember where you put it. You called yourself hiding it from yourself. So in your mind, it's misplaced. Oh no, what did I do? And you're looking at all your favorite hiding spots. You can't find it. What are you doing? You're panicking. Oh no, 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 not that ring. Oh God, I hope I didn't throw it out by mistake. What am I going to do? And you look and you dig and you tear up all the drawers. I mean, you're all over the place. You find it. Ha! Ah, it's in one of those hiding places you totally forgot about. So now you get a box and you just have to really pack this thing and write yourself a little private note somewhere so you'll never forget again. Now, what are you doing? You are stashing it in a very, very special place. Why? Because this ring has such value to you. There's no way you can lose it. You haven't had it long. But now that you've got it, there's no way you can lose it. It's too valuable. You've never had anything like this. All right. Now let me ask you a question. Here's the question. Ready? Why is it so easy for some of you to walk away from God at the first sign of trouble, at the first moment of disappointment, at the first offense, why is it so easy to give up your salvation and say, oh well? And then you look at sin and say, might as well. Hmm. And you walk away and you turn your back on God, the most precious gift no diamond can measure up to what you've got. But for some reason, it's not seemingly as valuable to you as a beautiful, brilliant diamond that you can cash in on. Isn't that sad? Why is that? 